Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here with my first uh, Galador review for Throwback Thursday. And to and now to answer, like, why are you reviewing some Galador? Why bother with it? Well, actually, there are a few other reviews of the Galador theme out there. Well, and, and it actually, so Galador actually kind of works for me and a couple others as well. So it, sometimes it just kind of goes like that. There are plenty of other reviews out there on YouTube, so it's just kind of the way I go sometimes. And if, so now, if not interested, don't watch, of course. But if you do feel like watching, enjoy. So, and this one is on Nick Bluetooth and Allegra, of course, from 2002. So, starting out with, is with the main tech, uh, or with, or, yeah, the main two antagonists are these two, of course. Well, starting out with traditional version Nick Bluetooth, played by Matthew Abewald in the show, of course. So, as you can see with all of these, of each figure in this line, which made of these, which are quite a lot of large specific pieces to it, kind of limited amount of pieces to each one, but, of course, so like, as for the feet right here, which as you can see, you know, which are kind of like resembling traditional uh, tennis shoes and whatnot, of course, with like, uh, probably like a uh, strap-on kinds or, or with, but also interesting thing with these feet pieces, as for the uh, treads in the bottom part of which, which it actually does kind of clip onto regular Lego studded surfaces, but not clutched on to it. But as for the like lower leg part, so which as you can see, each joint here is just or just ratcheted kind of joints that do pop on and off of course. But of course, not sure why ratcheted joints but whatever, but just the ankles in particular are just ball jointed, so they do move freely. But as for the upper legs, of which, as you can see, which are also interestingly detailed, but of course, with what looks like a cargo pocket on the side, of course, and that's for the main body air body part of which also quite has some good folds onto it representing in the odd t-shirt or just shirt that he has on but in the court and as for the arm bits of which as you can see I feel like the upper arm of which is in dark blue and this kind of piece is used often throughout the line but in other colors of course and Lower arm of which also used with a uh, Nick Bluetooth Deluxe, uh, of course, and of course also on a ratchet joint in two different both ways. But the wrists of which are swivel joints, and and also and for the hands of which they can you can slide to uh, any kind of bar connections into it. But for most other things like Technic axles and all, they can't fit into it. And then as for the headpiece of which, which kind of, which does kind of closely resemble the actor Matthew Awald in the show, of course. See, although quite close to that of like. Uh, Luke, but also kind of bit like that of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker and a few others in the Star Wars construction line that was made uh, around a decade or later of course of course but yeah but also unlike those the Harris which to me does look kind of rubbery but actually not really but solid material of course and then also like the others on a ratcheted joint for there so you can do so as well but 
also for this armor uh, kind of thing on him. Uh, not sure what it is or what it's about or for, but whatever. And as you can see, the joints in there. And also include for Nick Bluetooth in particular is for a little accessory is this punching arm kind of feature that you can swap out for that. And of course, and also the main feature of it is that you press this little bit here and it punches right out. Of course, good fun feature for that. Of course, of course, representing that scene in or scene in the show where he kind of glitches this. Of course, but as for these arms here, as or for the arm pieces here, is I'm not sure why just the upper part in dark blue because off most of the times throughout the show it, he is of course wearing a long sleeve shirt on but although sometimes he kind of does have them folded up of course and although it would be nice if these lower arm bits were in dark blue of course and save that this piece just for the deluxe version, but maybe that would have been a little too much and kind of confusing for some part, some people, but whatever. But yeah, and that is it with the Bluetooth. And now on to what, to one bit of Allegra, which is a little pet of hers called the Kiwa, which unfortunately we never got to see appear in the show, but my good guess, as as good as a lot of yours, is that it must have been made up just for the figure line, but whatever. But aside from that, as you can see, comprised of mostly two pieces: the body part to right here, and also the like head bit of it, of which is kind of interesting how it is, like with the animated looking eyes on there, and plenty of good. Uh, detailing on it, kind of like the awkward or rare awkward figure that there is, all with the bumpy scaly effect. And of course, do you get one point of movement, which is in the neck part of it, and the tail, which kind of spins around to it, of course. And we kind of put in just one position, like it crouching or something, but yeah, all the women nice. Although I think it could have been in a different position, but whatever. And if you're wondering if it attaches to any studs, no. Also, although it does kind of fit in it, but it doesn't stick to it, but whatever. So it's kind of interesting this one is, this pet of Allegra is, but yeah. And now on to Nick Bluetooth's best friend, to Allegra Zing. But also quite interesting figure. So as for the legs of which, all the pieces the same as Nick Bluetooth's of course, but instead with the shoe bit, but in all black and also a printing for laces on of course, and the leg pieces all in dark blue of course. But as for the torso bit here, which, as you see, has some of that belt detailing in, kind of like uh, sculpted in there, and also the, has the like red tank top on, of course. It's an interesting thing on the back part of the lower bit, of course, but although I'm not sure why it makes her uh, kind of thin for there, because if you see her in the show, she, which is a little bit thick, of course. But not sure why, but whatever. And as for the arms of which, as you can see, they're just kind of similar to Nick Bluetooth's ones, but instead of in two separate pieces, they're one solid piece to there, but one is just in fixed positions, where this one's like bent a bit, and this one's in a straight one, of course. So, although it does kind of make help make some good karate like positions since in the first episode of the show he which finds her practicing karate and also uh, 
oftentimes throughout the show, she of which uses plenty of that against some of the bad guys, of course. And also on each of the bracelets, on each wrist are these high-tech bracelets, of course. which some kind of good sculpting to them and also these like elbow pads there of course so quite nicely detailed at least even for the time of course and that's for the headpiece alone though which Well, as for that headpiece, I think it does well resemble the actress of her, I forget the name of that, but at least does well capture it, kind of well, like, well, regardless of the thick bangs, of course. And if look for the back of which, as you can see, that, as for the back hair of the witch, just, which, although in the show, to me, looks more like a complete ponytail of which, but this switch, not much of that, of course. But also, interestingly, you can slide it out and has a little, little connection bit to it so you can attach some other limb pieces to it. So, kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. Although, it does feels kind of useless just to put something there, of course, but yeah. And so now, on to my final verdict on these two. So overall, I think, I think as for the Galdor figures and all, well, oh whoops. I think these are which are quite good for the time, and as is, well, I was not sure why I include this, include the Kiwa with Allegra, of course, but although I think what could have been better is, like, one of the, like, insect kind of creatures that they intersect, although that that they intersect at one point in the show, but although I think that could have taken up as a whole nother figure, but although although she would have been just fine without the Kiwa, but whatever. And also as for Nick Bluetooth, I think other than just the, the uh, punching arm feature also would have included a extending arm kind of feature thing that he does in the first episode, but yeah. And also would have been nice if these lower arms were also in dark blue, but also also for the pricing that I think they were that they were at the time, well, at least they were kinda good for as is. Even though you can still find them reasonably priced second hand, obviously, but yeah. Although would have been great if Allegra would have had elbow joints then. So she would still get some good karate act poses to her sins as is, regardless of the hindering for that. But I can still kind of forgive how these figures are so which were, but yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say go ahead and pick them up if you are interested, but yeah, like on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.